my name is Bill Miller. I am the Precision Agricultural Faculty at Morgan Community College. We wanted to collaborate as an entire institution to come up with a collaborative project that we can utilize um, in our STEM program, so science, technology, engineering, and math. We went through the entire initial process to find out what manufacturer you wanted to go through. A very daunting process, but um, eventually we all came to the conclusion to go with a, a homegrown product here locally in Colorado. So we are in partnership with, with Farmbox. Um, Farmbox arrived uh, May of last year. In the fall, when students came on board, then we started working it into different uh, types of curriculum. So mainly for myself, I would work it into the technology portion, um, understanding how the computers work, the sensors, all the probes. Uh, worked it into my introduction to agronomy class. So the students would pick exactly what type of produce they wanted to, to grow, um, and they would have a start to finish process, um, planting, germination, uh, growing until we were ready to transplant to the vertical wall, and then they would harvest their own product, keep it for themselves, and they would also take it, um, take it to all the other students here on campus as well. So I have three actual work study students that work on the farm every single day. Um, most of them have never, they really didn't have any background in agriculture, but they're willing to learn. So that's kind of where I am in the educational por portion of it, is they don't have to have a background in agriculture to be able to be successful in a box like this. Um, they come in every single day, they enjoy the work that they're doing. Uh, when you talk about the educational aspect of it, so having the students come in and understanding every single step and process that it requires to make this, this product work and function properly, and then what our end, end goal is. So what do we want to do for our local community? Who do we want to provide all of our, our produce for? So it's, it's literally farm to table. So here locally, we can take our produce we give it to the students, we give it to the faculty, we give it to the staff and all local community members. So they can go out to the community and say, I have, I did this. You know, the produce that you're getting, I raised myself. Right now we have, we're experimenting with strawberries. So we're growing strawberries right now. Uh, we're growing, we're experimenting with some carrots right now. Uh, we're growing uh, edible flowers. Uh, we're growing a lot of lettuce, uh, cilantro, with spinach, jalapenos, cherry tomatoes, um, radishes. So just a wide variety of produce that we're trying to see how successful it will grow. Um, since we're not, you know, focusing on one said name product, we're trying multiple different products to see how it will thrive and survive in this type of environment. My favorite is the jalapenos. So I like jalapenos, I like the spice. So I make, uh, we made uh, jalapeno poppers out of the jalapeno, so that's probably my favorite to grow and to eat. Very successful with the radishes, so I've enjoyed the radishes. Here at the college, I want every single student to have um, their entrepreneurial skills, right? So we want to have uh, run our own business out of the farm box. So eventually, we want to partner with other uh, members of the community, local, local grocery stores, uh, local restaurants, um, the other high schools, elementary schools, and middle schools, and see if we can provide the produce for them and for their future. Rising Up is a nonprofit organization here in Morgan County, um, and they have a food bank as well. So right now, since we cannot be for profit, whatever we do not give away to local community members, uh, staff and faculty and students, we end up donating to Rising Up for their food pantry. All the lettuces that we have provided out of here it's unlike any other lettuce that I've had. Um, so it's, it's very fresh, it's very crisp. Um, it, it's hard to compare what you buy at the grocery store to what we're providing here. So it's completely different. As a faculty member, um, I am big on hands-on education. So I can, I can sit up in front of a classroom and I can talk about how things work and how things operate, but taking it from the classroom and then having them come out and put it into practical application, that's the best. Uh, so myself i learn best that way as well so a lot of the students that i'm getting are more career and technical education they want to receive an education here and go straight to the field and work so having them having the opportunity for them to get hands-on training every single day is endless 
This is not a traditional farming practice. So we're not used to this type of farming practice in rural Colorado. So we're taking local farmers and producers, what they provide in the ground, and we're doing it completely different. So it's just another form of an agricultural practice. And I'm, I'm trying to instill into them about sustainability, right? Am I gonna be able to grow this product in this container for an extended period of time? And right now, from what we've experienced, we're gonna be able to provide uh, produce for the long haul in this type of system.